Hey guys, welcome to lesson 24, being at ease with intense experiences. So many of you by now have recognized or are able to pretty consistently recognize the effortless nature of aware presence in everyday experiences and throughout appearances showing up. But what if those experiences come up which you have learned to define as very intense, which you have wrapped around a lot of beliefs of that a lot is at stake perhaps or that um, something that's occurring might cause you lack or someone else that you love lack of something profound, something you desire. And so as a result, when these types of appearances come up and they latch onto or they trigger your strong definitions, what happens is that all of your focus gets sucked into them. Whether these are physical challenges like pain or chronic pain or illness, or um, whether these are relational changes like breakups or cheating or all that kind of stuff, the fun stuff, um, or whether it's like financially, like seeming like you're lacking or just circumstantially in general, whatever it may be that triggers those intense beliefs. A lot of people find it a little harder um, and in a sense, including myself, including everyone that I've ever met, but a little harder to recognize the effortless aware presence of their nature, to recognize the freedom of who they are. Precisely because all of their focus, all of their REM memory, their available consciousness in that sense, their available conscious awareness becomes sucked into those definitions. And you start to feel according to how out of alignment those ideas are with what's actually true. And you start to feel the extent of that misalignment. And so now even more so, you get sucked into the feelings of that and the appearance of that. And so people tend to blame themselves or judge themselves for not being able to maintain awareness or not being able to maintain their peace or their ease throughout these experiences. But it's very possible and it's actually not that hard. You just sort of have to find that knack, that little switch. You have to find, you have to find the willingness, really, the honesty, the courage to even in those experiences, remember what's most important to you, which is freedom, which is love, which is clarity. I'm assuming, but you can check in with yourself, obviously. So when you pinpoint those true principles, those things that you really desire more of in your life, then already it becomes easier to, in a sense, momentarily look away from the, from those strong, intense definitions you have about what's appearing circumstantially. So that gives you a little space already to not have to be so focused. And it allows you to remember that actually nothing is at stake, ultimately speaking. And these are still just appearances. They're just defined as intense appearances. But in a very easeful way, you can actually maintain that natural effortless presence, which is already maintained. That's why it's so possible even in intense experiences. You can use all the techniques from the previous lessons, for example, flipping over the experience and see that on the other side, the non-story side, all that it does is confirming more presence, more freedom, more awareness. Now, I know this is not always as easy as it sounds, and that's why exactly we've created this, um, this lesson so that we address some of these core fears and core issues that we have regarding pain, regarding intense suffering, regarding relationships, etc. And point you, ideally, back to the ease that is still present throughout those experiences. So that at the very least, your experiences of, of those catalytic experiences, your direct personal experience of those types of appearances will be that of peace. At the very least, if not even hints of excitement or little pieces of joy shining through. But at the very least, at the end of this lesson, hopefully you'll be able to bring that state of peace or recognize rather the state of effortless peace, even in intense experiences. And therefore, in that sense, let go of your resistance and go with the flow of these sort of valley experiences and these more intense transformations in your life. And you can find some self-love. You can find some real true self-love appreciation and stability even in those experiences.